play in Montreal. We just hope that the people are going to be pulling for us as much as we're pulling for ourselves, and I, and I believe this is going to be true. Everything chips in to help a little bit. Good spirit from the fans, good spirit on the field from the ball players. Uh, winning a few games, of course, helps. Uh, of course, good uh, coaching helps. And we've got it here. We've got the best that there is in baseball right here in Montreal. You were a left-hander, a left-handed outfielder going to his left like this and have to turn like this to throw. Heck, that's yeah. good for two steps. That's good for two steps. Yeah, a lot of gym. I do it twice in one game. But men like manager Gene Mopp are realistic about the job of building a real contender. Starting a ball club from scratch is really probably the most exciting thing that I've ever been uh, associated with. Uh, there, has some, there are some benefits to it. There are some disadvantages also. But I think uh, the benefits outweigh any disadvantages you have because so many times when you start a new ball club, you can uh, create the style of play, the, the team policy that you want. You don't have to undo anything more like when you come into a, to an established club uh, that has been lethargic and apathetic in their play then you have to undo some of their bad habits we'll be starting right from scratch and do things the same way uh, year after year and i think that uh, the players will like the expo style of play 160 games still lay ahead of them but none meant as much to the expos as this one the opening day game in their own ballpark against 1968's National League champions, the St. Louis Cardinals. And that day, the most loyal fans in the league were born as the Expos won the first Major League contest ever held on Canadian soil. The score, eight to seven. Aside from the excitement, the tremendous excitement, the enthusiasm, we have a baseball player. The greatest of opportunities will be afforded to players made available by expansion who have been running second fiddle, you may say, to the Ron Santos, to the Dow Maxvilles, to the star players in the National League. The opportunities that they've never had before, these young players. Day out, the first guy who even talked to me was Bob Bailey. And I read about him and my, I, I think I collected his baseball card. That's just, and now I'm sitting right next to him and, and I, I don't know, to, should I say, I collected your baseball cards because that doesn't sound the right thing, and, and yet I don't, want, I don't know what to talk about. Do I talk about family or do I talk about shop, you know? Are, are you supposed to sit in the clubhouse and talk baseball all the time? I don't, I don't know, and uh, pe people come up and introduce, you know, and I, rec and I recognize the name, and I says, God, and then I walk in my locker, maybe five lockers away from Maury Wills, and last summer I was seeing Maury Wills on TV, and, Every young ball player wants to play in the major leagues, and the expansion club has been a, it's been a great thing. It's, uh, it's helped a lot of ball players get to the major leagues, whereas maybe before they wouldn't have been able to. Jim Williams, speaking for every ball player who has ever been invited to a big league training camp. I'm looking forward to this year with the Montreal Expos. I think uh, we're going to have a real fine ball club. And I think when fellows like Wills and, uh, and Rusty Staub and some of the fellows that have played for a few years in the major leagues are are out there that it helps the younger ball players perform a little bit better than maybe they would uh, at a minor league level. Like every other branch of the entertainment business, baseball depends upon its stars to attract fans. And one of the outstanding young players bagged by the Expos is Rusty Staub, Le Grand Orange. I don't care who you are in a, in a game type situation, I think there is a, a definite uh, anxiety or nervousness that you can either let work for you or against you. And, and, uh, and I think one of the things that I have tried to teach my own self in my own hitting is that if you concentrate uh, so much on fundamentals that uh, you can regulate your mind to that fact, no matter what kind of situation it is in any game, that you can go up to the plate and, and still see, uh, think the same things that you would normally think uh, uh, even if it was, uh, you know, you were ahead by 10 runs and a guy was on third base, you know. Bob began the season auspiciously hitting Montreal's first home run before a stunned and silent New York crowd. But one homer does not a season make. And 
Colonel Legrand Orange is veteran enough to understand. You have to look at it two ways. Realistically, you've got to say we're going to finish last in our division. Uh, if anybody looks at it any other way, they're just kidding somebody. Uh, but everything doesn't always happen realistically. You can't go by paper. Uh, we're liable to surprise uh, the entire National League. One way or another, this colorful Canadian team was to be full of surprises, beginning with their 11-10 victory in their very first game. Even the people who had hoped the most could hardly believe what they had seen. I'm trying to make the team. I'm trying to make it as a starting pitcher, as a matter of fact. And uh, I just think uh, that I'm going to have a very good opportunity, much better opportunity than I would have had, uh, let's say, had I been with the Cubs this spring. And other people could hardly believe it when Montreal came up with the season's first no-hit-no-run game from Bill Stoneman, whose expo cap and autograph ball now rest in the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. There is something, particularly with the Expo Ball Club, there's something extra special here. Uh, we have better spirit than I've ever seen on a ball club. Everybody wants to hit a thousand. Everybody wants to feel a thousand. Everybody wants to win every game. But this is impossible, and I, that's why I think baseball is such a great game, because the, the competitive spirit has to be inside of you. You have 162 games to play. It's tough to get up for every game, but you have to feel it. The competitiveness from within is very important and uh, it has to come out of you as much as possible in order for you to have a winning season. Expansion team, yes. But grim Gene Mark is determined that they will not be bush leaguers. Mark has been around long enough to know that if you want to mix with the bigs, you've got to play like the bigs, even if you finish last. Baseball is so much a, a game of conditioning. Uh, it's, it's uh, unique in that uh, we play 162 games a year, where the, most of the other major sports play uh, perhaps half of that or even less. Uh, the football players play 12 or 15 games a year, and they have to be conditioned uh, physically to contact uh, both with uh, the opposition and with the ground. We try to avoid uh, contact uh, in practice with one another and uh, with, even with the ground. We don't even do much sliding practice because the majority of players that come to the Major League camp already know about sliding and they've been taught this as youngsters and uh, once you learn it's like riding a bicycle once you learn how to slide you never forget how to do it our ball players uh, like all major league ball players just uh, repeat and repeat over and over all the things that they have to do in baseball so it becomes second nature to them Sometimes you, you, you lay awake at night and you wonder if, uh, if you're really going to make it or not. Uh, you look at all the major league ball players and you see the 20-game winners and you see all the ball players that's hitting 300 and, and you wonder as a pitcher if you can get out Mickey Mantle, if you can get out Willie Mays. Uh, these are some of the things that goes through a young ball player's mind. Uh, I was scared that first day, I tell you. Guys are up there that were hitting me major league ball, and here I was, and I didn't know if I, I didn't know if I could throw as hard as I could and still get them out. You know, I I have nothing to compare myself, and, and then, then then word gets out that we're having an inter squad game, and this really this is I'm done for now, and I'm just turning me over. And I said, well, I'll, I hope I don't throw that first day, so I can see what somebody else throws like, you know, and because my right now I'm trying to compare myself and see where I stand. And, well, luckily, I wasn't slated to throw on that first night, so this was on a, on a Sunday, I guess. So Saturday night, I figured, well, I'll watch all day tomorrow and pick up a few pointers. And, and sure enough, uh, after the game Sunday, they said, there's a no another game tomorrow, and those guys who aren't throwing, throw tomorrow. And that, and that, that was me. So last night, uh, uh, I thought about my pitching, and I concentrated, and I want to remember the signs, and I got plenty of rest, and I didn't do anything that really set me up and this morning I woke up and it's raining and now I'm right back to where I started because now I got to go through the whole thing again tomorrow. Ah, oh, there will be many days like that. Sometimes the ball players can't be blamed if they wonder whether anybody upstairs really cares.
that's how it went in year one for the Montreal Expo. In this, the 100th anniversary of professional baseball. Those were the hopes, the fears, the joys, the agonies, the successes, the failures, and all the other consequences and responsibilities of big league competition. But whatever their fortunes may be in the National League, one fact remains certain. Canada has a Major League Baseball team, a Montreal Expo. We're going to come up there and we, we, we're going to give you the best that we have. If sometimes we might disappoint you, it's not because we, 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 are, we, we are thinking about offending you. It's just that uh, we want to do well so bad is that uh, uh, we are, I guess we are going to make mistakes. Uh, uh, I guess we'll do that too. But you stick with us and, and I, I think we're going to be okay.